So, thank you for your patience. What we're going to do just now is observe how to carry out the experiment to measure the refraction of light uh, through a rectangular prism. The first thing you would do is draw the shape of your rectangular prism onto your bit of paper. And then what you're going to do is mark in your normal line, which is drawn perpendicular to the side of the prism uh, at 90 degrees. After this, you can take your protractor and you can mark on the paper your incident angles that you intend to use, going from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, up to 60 degrees. Now you are able to place your glass prism on top of your piece of paper, bring in your ray box and line up the ray of light along the angles that you have already sketched onto your paper. We can see here the incident angle of 10 degrees and what we're doing is marking as the light leaves the block. So we adjust the ray box through all of our incident angles and mark each of the angles as it leaves the block that we're later going to measure. So a couple more to finish with, 40, 50, and last of all, 60 degrees. Now we can remove the block and you want to take your ruler and from the point where the light enters the block, you want to draw a line to these markings you've made, which will allow you to calculate the angles. So here we are marking our angles all the way up to the last, which was 60 degrees. Now we can take our protractor and we can measure these angles of refraction. Where the light bent inside the block, we are able to use the protractor to measure the angle from the refracted ray to the normal. And you can see that the refracted angle is less than the angle of incidence. We are now on to our second last, which was 50, and we had an angle of refraction of 32, and our final incident angle of 60 with an angle of refraction of 37. So the angle of incidence is greater than the angle of refraction.